Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the 1966 set of tops and its errors. Uh, notables in this set are some Hall of Famer rookies, Jim Palmer, Fergie Jenkins, and Don Sutton. All rookies in this set. Uh, has some value in there. Of course, your big ones are going to be your uh, Roberto Clemente and uh, Mickey Mantle cards. 598 cards in the set. Came out in seven different series. And just like many years uh, before and after this set, that seven series is really kind of hard to come by. And even commons are worth quite a bit. Let's talk about some errors. First, let's talk about our relationship with GruntalksMLB.com. Darren is over there hosting my videos. I'm not paying him. He's not paying me. Check him out when you get a chance. Anything sports related. He's a Yankees fan. I don't hold that against him. His team's doing a lot better than mine right now. A lot of sports related content over there. Aaron Judge stuff. Check him out when you get a chance. Thanks, Darren. Let's get started. Starting off with card number 12, John Satoris. I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. He has a light yellow bleeding above his shirt over his left arm. Uh, moving on, card number 17, John Stevenson. Also a variation, not considered an error. The Mets is bleeding in the top corner. You'll see the yellow coming out of the letters there. This is actually in a couple different Mets cards we're going to talk about. Another one going down the list here. Uh, card number 18, Roland Sheldon. There's a white, like a donut, or it's actually called a bagel online, um, on the back under the first and second line of text. Number 30, Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose. Cool looking card, right? I like this one. Um, on the back, it says that he had 175 hits in 1963. That's wrong. It should be 170. That was not corrected. Number 31, Jack Colon, uncorrected error. It says Richmond on the back. It should be Toledo where he played. Number 32, Adolfo Phillips. There's a variation where it has that horizontal line on the back. Now, it looks like a hair got on the press or something. I don't know what that is. But it's interesting because uh, you can see that line on the card there. and It actually connects with another card on the same sheet, card number 51, uh, that we'll talk about a little bit later. So the line just goes clear across the card onto the other card. Kind of cool. Uh, there's also a second issue with this card. There's a black smudge above league batting on the back. Number 34, the first series checklist. Now, on card number 62 on the list, that's the merit card. Uh, the M is broken. Jim Catfish Hunter, number 36. Now, this one's weird. Okay, this is an uncorrected error. On the back, it says his stats were 63 and 64. Well, that, that shouldn't sound right because it's a 66 card. It should say 64 and 65. They didn't correct that. Just kind of a weird one, right? Uh, numbers 43, Jim Landrum. Now, this is a weird one, okay? So, here he is. And look down, down south there on his pants. Can you see both of them? Well, I'm going to throw some scans here, but the button on his pants, okay? It's closed, but the button is a little more obvious. Tops didn't want that, so they, they filled it in with white so you can still see the button. And then they came back and corrected it again where it's completely whited out. I'm not sure why they, there's a couple different variations, but I, have a, I know of three total. Some people do claim that there's a fourth one where it's a yellow. I have not actually seen that, so I'm not going to tell you that there is or not. Tom Kelly, rookie card number 44. They spoke Kelly wrong on the back. Should have two E's in it. They only put one. Paul Blair, number 48. There's a purple blob in the sky. Gordon Richardson, number 51. A lot of issues going on with this card. A lot of different variations. Now, it has the horizontal line on the back that we talked about earlier in card number 32, where the line goes clear across onto the other card. It looks like a hair, like I said. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, there's also a couple more issues where there's a dark smudge over Albany and Houston on the back. The Mets has a bleeding yellow in the top corner, like on that other card we talked about. And there's also one more thing. This card is, has, is actually an uncorrected error as well. It has no copyright on the bottom. Card number 55, Ken Harrelson rookie card. It's an uncorrected error on the back in the bio. It says 1955. It should say 1965. So they went back 10 years on that one. Uh, card number 58, Dave Wickersham. Um, there's a green blob on the inner forearm on his picture there. Take a look at that. N number 62, Merritt Renew. There is actually an issue on the back of the card where he was traded near the end of the season. It says he was sold. So there's a sold statement on there. But you can get with or without that sold statement. Just an extra sentence on the, in the bio there. And there's a couple of them like that. Number 73, Jerry Zimmerman. There's a green streak in the photo on the lower left. And then Don Mossy here, number 74. This is an uncorrected error. Handsome guy. Well, he's not winning any beauty contests, but he is a good pitcher. And they messed up on his date of birth. Date of birth should be 1920. 
Here we go. Number 91, Bob Euchre. Funny man, Bob Euchre. Uh, also, he was traded. It may or may not have that trade statement on the back of the card. Number 101, Checklist 2. This is the second series checklist. Also, issues going on this where it says 115 is Warren Spawn, Hall of Famer. Well, that's not correct. It should be Bill Henry. Also, there's an issue where there's a slash through the B on number 106 on Rusty Staub. Moving on here, number 102, Ed Kirkpatrick. There's a white dot in the sky by his head. Uh, number 103 and 104, Dick Grote, Alex Johnson. Both of those cards, he was they were traded, and they can, you can get it with or without the trade statement. Again, variations, not one that's more valuable than the other. Number 113, Hank Aguirre. A couple issues going on here. So in the bottom corner of the card... Under the Tigers banner, it's green. A little green streak there. It's not really noticeable, but whatever. It's considered a variation on this one here. There's also a white cloud in the sky next to his head over his right ear. Number 122, Joe Gaines. There's a banner that's green behind the team that extends into the margin. So he just kind of bleeds over there. And moving on, card number 125, Lou Brock, Hall of Famer. There's one or two pink blobs in the top border. Another Hall of Famer, 126, Jim Palmer. There's an, it's an uncorrected error. It actually says he throws as righty. That's incorrect. Number 133, John McMahon. There's a large break in the top border with blue specks. Card number 136, Woody Held. They misspelled Woody. Poor guy. I mean, he has a unique spelling there. It should be W-O-O-D-I-E. So Topps likes to put a Y on the end of it. It looks like it makes sense, but it is misspelled. That is an uncorrected error. Number 142, Don Dennis. There's a red ball under team name and varying boldnesses. Now you can, it's kind of faint on some of them. I'll throw up a few comparisons for you to look there. But uh, in neither one of them, any more valuable than the other. I didn't notice any of them that were harder to find than the others as well. Number 146, George Altman. Absinic. <laughs> on the back, I should say absence in his bio, but it says absinic. That's an uncorrected error. They just didn't spell that one right. Frank Malzone, number 152. There's a blue A in Angels. Shows up as blue. And card number 161, Jerry Lumpy. Lump? Lumpy? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, there is a, a little white wedge over the second base on the front of the card. Number 177, Hector Lopez. There's a black dot on his chin. Kind of funny looking. <laughs> Not supposed to be there, though. Number 178, Bob Tillman. Now, this is an uncorrected error. Uh, the cartoon says... 49 stealers talking about people stealing but it should only be 23 that he threw out that was incorrect and they did not come back and correct that one and number 180 veda pinson the banner sinks below the black border kind of a small issue you really have to be looking for it to see it but it made it made the list nonetheless number 183 checklist for the third series uh, names and numbers actually have a different uh, fonts so if you put a side by side comparison, you can see that one is slightly smaller than the other as far as the font. I don't know why they had to change it, but they wanted to. Uh, number 184, Dennis Mankey. There's a variation on this one here where there is a, a red dot and the white in the white background over the letter I. Number 192, Vic Power. This is an uncorrected error. The date of birth is wrong. It should be 1927. Larry Durker, number 228. Look between his legs there, there's like a white streak. It's called a white icicle, just a streak in the grass. So kind of a weird one, but not really hard to find either. Number 238, Dodgers team card. Okay, there's a yellow blob under the NA in National, National League there at the bottom of the card. Orlando Pena, number 239, date of birth should be 1933. Pedro Gonzalez, number 266, last name is misspelt. They put an S on the end instead of a Z on the end. There's also a second issue with this card where there's an uncorrected error with his date of birth. It should be 1937. Number 279, the fourth series checklist. There's a variation on this one where the baseball player, the drawing there in the top corner, has either a red or a black hat. Not sure what it's supposed to be, but it's a variation nonetheless. Uh, number 290, Ron Santo. League is missing the E or it could be distorted on the back. So there's actually three different variations where the E is visible, half missing, or completely gone. If you got the one with the missing E, though, I think you got some money there. Hang on to that, Hang on to that one for sure. Number 292, Jimmy Coker, white blobs over the position on his card. 299, Lou Burdett, 
Poor Lou, this is an uncorrected error. They can't seem to spell his name correctly. It should be L-E-W. They keep putting it L-O-U. So that was an uncorrected error as seen in other years as well. Number 303, the Indians team card. There is, there's a dot that should be between the name down at the bottom, but you can get it with or without that dot. The no dot is definitely the rare one. Just a quick side note, if you look at the Venezuelan tops version of this card, none of them actually have the dot. Number 306, Ty Klein. There's a short yellow streak over the N in Klein on the front. Number 319, Gene Freeze. Freezy. A horizontal line on the front through the team. The second issue with the card, there's actually reddish stains on the right side of his hat. Number 324, John Boozer. It's an uncorrected error. Wins in 1956 should be 96. It shows 96, but it should be 9. It's a big difference there. Uh, number 326, the Braves team card. Same issue where it doesn't have, may or may not have that dot between uh, the name down at the bottom. Dal Maxville, card number 338, has a large pink haze on his upper back. In card number 361, Tom Satriano has a brownish blob right near his right ear. Roger Maris, number 365, we know this guy. Uncorrected error on this one. They actually had the wrong date of birth for him, if you can believe it. It should be 1934. Charlie Loud, number 368. There's a white and purple and blue blobs on the card. Looks like they're like doing some water painting or something. <laughs> it just looks like they made a mess on this card. Number 378, Dick Trazuski. There's a white circle behind the eye in Tigers on the card. 381, Hank Fisher. There's a light blue horizontal line above position. And number 404, the Pirates team card. Same issues before. There may or may not be a black dot between the place and where it says national. Max Alvis, number 415, there's a blue dot on the right shoulder trim. Kind of insignificant, kind of hard to see, but shows up on the list nonetheless. Sandy Alomar, 428, there's a red dot by his ear and the border breaks on the right. Moving on, 432, Bob Hefner. Now, those trees right behind him are the issue there. You can actually get them where they're green, like normal, like that, or they may be purple. So kind of a printing issue, but it's kind of a mass-produced one. There is some sources that say there's varying of that purple, but I was unable to find one. All right, six series checklist, card number 444. Number 456 is either an R or a the word red spelled out, like R socks or red socks. So they just kind of abbreviated red socks, and I guess they didn't like to do that, so they went back and changed it. Card number 447, Dick Ellsworth. Not him. Now, we've seen this card before on lists. That picture is Kenny Hubbs. Poor guy, killed in a plane crash. Number 458, Manny Jimenez. Well, they misspelt it on the back, his last name. They put a two I's and an E instead of an I and two E's. Card number 498, Pirates Rookies. Well, on the back for Fryman, they have his ERA as 0.267. Well, that'd be pretty low ERA as possible. It should be 2.67. That was not corrected. Uh, speaking of uncorrected errors, card number 502, Lenny Green. Under his date of birth, they, they made a mistake in how they typed it. I got to throw up a picture of this one here for you to kind of see what I'm talking about. A-J-N instead of January. It's kind of a weird, weird error there. They did not correct that one. 517, 7th Series Checklist. Now, this uh, checklist also has some errors where number 529 has W or the word white. So again, abbreviation. This one, you can see the difference where they actually changed the font size. So they had to abbreviate the word to make it smaller. Card number 544, Cardinals rookie, Jimmy Williams. Name is misspelled Jimmy with two M's. It should only have one M. Card number 559, Robert Pena, date of birth, should be 1937. Number 582, Gary Roggenberg. There's some wispy blue circles in the sky. So kind of a weird one there. Take a look at the scan on that one. And 583, the Tigers team card. It actually, this one's kind of funny. This is an uncorrected error. It shows that they are third place in the National League. They're actually fourth. Poor guys. They got, <laughs> got the wrong place on that. Hey guys, that is it for the list. That was a big list, right? I hope you guys are hanging in there and hope you guys are subscribing. We're getting that subscriber count up and I love to see it. I love it when you guys comment there. You guys give me suggestions too and I appreciate that. Make some comments down below. Let me know that you're watching. I'll reply to you. Hate comments. That's okay too. Guys, we got some more cool ones on the way. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.